So if your specific person is showing up as the version you don't want, and you've been trying to manifest a new version, you've been trying to make them conform and everything they're doing out here is throwing you, then you're actually manifesting them the wrong way and you've been listening to the wrong kind of advice about how to change them. And in this video, I'll explain to you how you're doing it wrong and what to do instead and why they're not manifesting the way you want them to yet. So guys, in this video, I will go in depth about your 3D reality showing you what you don't want, your specific person showing up shitty. And if you really want to learn how to not be thrown by that, please do get my mini course that's been dropped in the squad this month. It's called Fuck the 3D. So no matter what your specific person is doing in front of you, breaking up with you, flirting with other girls, telling you they don't want you, friend zoning you, being a bit of a narc and being all about themselves, whatever characteristics they're showing up with, whatever situation you're in, whatever circumstances you have with them, Fuck the 3D, the mini course will teach you that circumstances don't matter and what to do about them. Because so many of you come to me telling me what they're doing, but you're not understanding that they are, your specific person is reflecting you. They're your reflection. And if you're really stuck right now and you haven't joined the squad or you don't wish to join the squad, you can actually get my whole Loz letter featuring this Loz lesson today that I'm giving you. And it's a free newsletter I send out every week. It's not a sales letter, it's a Loz lesson. It's called the Loz Letter. And the way to sign up to that is to go to the link in my bio, click it, and it's a free newsletter every week dropping on a Wednesday. And this week's topic is your specific person reflects your shitty thoughts about them. <laughs> so sign up now and after this video, the latest Loz lesson will drop and you'll get it in your inbox. So guys, when I wrote that particular piece for the Loz letter this week, your specific person reflects your shitty thoughts about them. Do you know what I mean by reflects? They're reflecting you, meaning your inner world, your inner thoughts, your subconscious thinking about your person is how they'll show up. They actually can't show up any other way than the way you think they'll be. Let me say that again. Your specific person can't show up any other way or be any other version than the version you've created of them. It's like you're the scriptwriter of your own movie. You're also the actor in it. You're also the producer, the director, the sound technician. You're everyone on the set. And you're dictating how this actor in your movie, this one actor is going to act. And you're in the movie with them. It's just you and them in this movie of life, of your love life, of your relationship. And they are literally parroting back to you the script you wrote for them the directions you gave them as the director, the way you saw the whole relationship going, the way you saw the project going as the producer, literally. And I'm not joking that that's the way to look at this. Neville Goddard described the way your reality is showing up like a film or like a theatre piece. And he was old, like much older than me. He's from ages ago. He talked about theatre, right? If you can see that your mind is getting projected on the screen of space, as Neville Goddard would say, You'll understand it's like a projection in a movie theatre or like a theatre piece that you have written and the person is playing out exactly what you fucking wrote. So you have to change the story. So when law of assumption coaches are telling you to change your story about your person, it's like I'm saying, change the script you wrote about them. Rip up that script that they flirt with other girls. Rip up the script of, I don't get the love I want. They never commit to me. Rip up the script of their friends owning me. Rip up the script that I put them on a pedestal and they're better than me. Write a new one. Write a fresh new script where your person is playing out the new version of you and the new version of them. And when I say the new version of you, I mean that they can only reflect you. Not only your story about them, but your story about yourself. So if you've got a story that they're better than you, they'll play that out. If you've got a story that they don't want you, but they want others, or they're a player because you attract those kind of guys, that's your story about relationships. That's your story about not being good enough. That's your story that you attract guys that are better looking than you and you're not good looking enough, or whatever the fucking story is about you in relationships, you in love. They'll not only play out the story that you hold about them, but the story you hold about yourself. Then the 3D will fuck with you. It'll upset you, what he's doing, she's doing out here. And you won't understand that he or she is simply a reflection of what you dominantly assumed about them, the story you wrote, the script you devised in your mind. So if you're really, really thrown by it, please do get the latest Loz letter dropping today in your inbox. It's all free and they drop every week. And then also make sure you do come and join the squad because these mini courses drop every month. 
one a month and at the end of the month get taken out. Now, there's a founding course that's in there called Make Them Obsessed and everyone loves that course and that stays in there. That was our very first course of the squad. You can also get it on my website, but it's cheaper to join the squad for 35 bucks. You get too many courses. Make Them Obsessed, it's always in there and the latest one for a month. So if you join now, you'll get Fuck the 3D mini course plus Make Them Obsessed mini course, which is 95 bucks on my website. Plus you get to watch me coaching people on video, plus you get to go live with me on Fridays and ask your questions, plus you get to ask your questions every day if you're spiraling and the mentors and the members will give you answers. It's a no-brainer to join up for 35 and not to wait for it to drop on the website for 95. So are you guys understanding when I say if they're showing up shitty, they are simply your mirror and you must write a new script about them and about yourself. And if you've done my self-concept course, you will have already started the process of changing the story about yourself, your concept of self. They can only reflect that. They can only be and do what you think they're going to be, what you think they're going to be like. So if you keep describing them as a player that flirts with other girls, you've got to think, okay, I've got to change that story, but where did I come up with that story about him in the first place or about her in the first place? Oh, that's because I feel not good enough because I was compared to other girls my whole life when I was growing up by my parents. And so I constantly assume other girls are a threat. This actually isn't about him. This is my reflection of my concept of self that I'm not enough and I'll be left and I won't be chosen. He's actually not doing anything but playing that out. Oh my God, I'm doing this. Are you guys getting this? You've got to understand that everyone in your reality is simply in your reality. There is no other reality to be part of. You're only in yours. And they can only reflect what you're thinking in yours, dominantly in your mind. And you're the script writer of what they play out, like the actor in your film. So don't get angry at them, guys. Don't allow the 3D, however they're showing up in your 3D reality out here to throw you. You have to actually change what's going on in your fourth dimensional mind, the script you wrote. You have to rewrite it or throw it away and fucking write a new one. So guys, if you're really stuck on this, if you keep spiraling because your specific person is doing things you hate, if they're not changing at all, if you've been focusing on them and manifesting them wrong, then please do come and join the squad this month and get Fuck the 3D. Part one is already out. Part two, which is called Why Circumstances Don't Matter, is dropping on Monday. Then there's another part about your power and how you can make sure that the 3D never throws you and how you can definitely change it because you're creating it. Okay, the first part was about understanding non-reaction and understanding how realities are created and all possibilities exist. So that's the first part that's already in there. It's a video and a workbook. Then we also drop affirmations every couple of days in there to help you. Then the second part is about circumstances don't matter because they don't because you create them. And the last part is about really changing your 3D by changing your thoughts writing the new script. All right, guys, I hope that Loz lesson helped you about if your specific person is showing up shitty, please do make sure to get the Loz letter today, which goes in great detail about this. And also you can join Fuck the 3D's mini course with us inside the Subconscious Loz membership group, the squad. All right, guys, I'm going to scroll up and answer your questions. Hi, guys, on TikTok. Hello, hello, hello. Let me see what the first question is. Oh, my God, so many questions. Hang on, guys. Hi, Owen. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Rihanna. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Laws. Manifested another 500 bucks. I don't know why it's always exactly 500. <laughs> Wonderful, Dylan. All right. Yay, Laws Live. Yes. Hey, Laws. Hey, everyone. Who's running to me? My phone's going ding, ding, ding. Hi, Kat. Laws has changed my life. Oh, Ryan. Thank you, darling. Hi, Mia. Don't worry. Everyone calls me Liz. So every time we want to check the 3D, we are in a state of lack. You're literally thinking this matters. You think circumstances matter. So yeah, you're thinking in terms of it's not here yet. I've done something wrong. Something's gone wrong. It's not here. It hasn't manifested. You've got to think it has manifested. So if you're looking at it and thinking it's the wrong way, you're telling your mind this isn't what I want and it'll give you more of that. Yes, a state of lack, not having what you want. Hi, Odizzle. How are you, darling? Hi, Jennifer. The 3D is a scam. Oh, that's great, Christy. Let's say that. Let's put that on a T-shirt. The 3D is a scam. I love that. Hi, Nash. Why would you look for it if you have it already? Exactly. Why would you look for it in your 3D if you have it already in your mind? That's the key here. That's great, Dylan. So then we shouldn't say, oh, our SP chases me. Well, you can. But guys, it whatever. Thank you, Maddie. It's whatever implies them being in love with you. So... You could be married and they're chasing you. What's the difference? You know what I mean? Whatever implies you have what you want. You can say whatever you want. It's your meaning you give it that's the problem. It should be, I am chased, I am the price. It can be whatever you like, darling. Now I've done the letter to my dad. I've been changing his story. Oh, Nat, I saw your um, post about that. That's great. 
I mean, your comment. Hi, guys. Wow, what a sign. I'm having a rough time. And here's Loz on my view page. She yell at me. I need this. Oh, good. We'll stop saying you're having a rough time, darling. Hi, guys. And he say, I hurt him or this things he didn't like. Guys, if they're turning up with things you don't like, they're saying things you don't like, you're really not listening to me. And you've really got to watch all my videos. So make sure you go and get the latest Loz letter coming out tonight. Darling, are you on that list? Are you on my email list? There's like 13,000 people on there and you should all be reading them every week. They're lessons. They're full-on lessons I'm giving you for free about manifesting your specific person, manifesting money, manifesting wealth, the same thing, <laughs> manifesting what you want. Loz, would dating around while affirming you and SP together confuse the subconscious? No, guys, because you're just deciding you're wanted and loved unless you decide it's confusing you and then, yeah, it will confuse you. It's whatever you think, guys. You can be like, he's going to be so jelly when he finds out I'm talking to all these guys because he loves me so much. Whatever you want. Hey, Loz, it's so nice to see you. How are you? I'm great, Angelica. How are you doing? Loz, we'll go back and read comments after Loz lesson. Yes, I'm here. I'm here, Jenna. Choreograph your life. Oh, that's great, Dylan. Choreograph your life like a dancer doing the choreography. Yes, Dylan's a dancer, dancing Dylan. He's one of our mentors in the squad, guys. So there's about eight mentors and they're all there to answer your questions and they answer with the most fantastic replies in the Q&A forum. So if you're ever spiraling, guys, and you're really having a moment, it's only 35 bucks a month and you can cancel any time to get your questions answered. And so many people use it for support when they've just had something go wrong that day and they just go in there and get a bit of support. And you can read the success stories and there's so many success stories in there and the free group every day to really encourage you guys to know that their circumstances they felt did matter and then they realized they didn't and then they changed them. What sort of concept issues do we have if four friends are never there for us and extremely untrustworthy? Well, you just said it, darling. You just told me what the problem is with your thinking. They're never there for you and they're extremely untrustworthy. So you've got a dominant story that you can't trust others. Were you abused as a kid? Probably. By the sounds of what you wrote, that's what it sounds like. So you've got a dominant story that you can't trust other people or something happened in your life where you watch someone be sneaky, like your dad was cheating or your mum was sneaking around never trusting your dad. So you've got a dominant story that other people can't be trusted and therefore they can't be in your reality because you've got a story that others can't be trusted. And so then they turn up as extremely untrustworthy because that's your story about people, about friends. Did your mum have a friend who slept with your dad or something? There's some fucking story going on there. Or you just feel so not good enough in yourself, you don't think anyone's going to be there for you and then they're not. What is it? One of those three. Don't blame your friends, they're just your mirror. Hello, so good to see you, Loz. Oh, darling. Oh, thank you for sharing the live. Loz, I am struggling. Well, stop saying that, darling. I manifest SP in 2021, but he blocked me and there's been no movement since. Well, Chloe, probably because you're talking like a person who hasn't got what they wanted. You're talking like a person who's blocked. You're talking like a person who doesn't have the love of their life. You're talking like a person who is unloved by them and unwanted by them. So what do you think is going to happen, darling? They're your reflection. Stop saying you're blocked. Stop saying there's no movement. Did you work on your self-concept between 2021 and now? I sincerely doubt it, Chloe. Because if you had, they wouldn't have disappeared. So what made them disappear? What made them block you? Do you have a dominant story you do things wrong? Do you have a dominant story he thinks he's better than you? Do you have a dominant story that he doesn't want to commit? I don't know. What the fuck is the story? Facts. This is what I'll be telling everyone, but they're stuck in their own story. You create the story. Oh, guys, look, I used to try and educate people and get them to change, and you realise that you're there, you're reflecting you, so there's no point telling them what to do. It's a real habit of mine, but I've got to stop because I teach. I become the teacher in life. There's no point telling them. I manifested this live. Oh, wonderful. Just wanted to say I love your stuff. Oh, thank you, Denny. My fiancé broke up with me out of nowhere, wasn't out of nowhere, and said he feels insecure with me. We've been no contact for two months. No, Dana, it wasn't out of nowhere. Let me just tell you, whenever people say out of nowhere, I will literally sit there and uncover every single thought they had, and it wasn't out of nowhere. Want more help manifesting Loz's resources? Yes, guys. So there's all resources inside, free resources inside the link tree. So if you click the link in my bio in the description, if you're watching this back on YouTube, there is a free mini course called New Year, New You. It's an e-book with a lot of written activities to really change your self-concept this year. Then there's my main free mini book, which is actually a course with a video called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong. Go and download that. If you don't understand that everyone's your mirror reflection, you've really got to go and download that and read it and watch the video. Then you'll automatically get on the Loz email list, okay, and get your Loz lesson every week. Then there's also one called the Perfect Person Checklist where you can actually really map out how you want your version of your person to be so they don't turn up shitty, okay? There's also my Instagram with um, lessons every day. Oh, Dana, thank you for the garland. So Dana, when you said out of nowhere, it's not out of nowhere. So tell me, 
What shitty thoughts subconsciously were you having about them or about your relationship before he broke up with you out of nowhere? Were you thinking things like, why haven't we got married yet? It's taken so long. We've been married for X, Y, Z time. Why haven't we ever actually arranged the wedding? Or why does he keep postponing it? Or all my friends are married. Why aren't we married yet? Or I really want a baby. I don't think he wants one. Or he doesn't want what I want. Or he's not as committed to me as I thought. Or things have changed. Our relationship isn't the same as it used to be. Or why is this taking so long? Or why is he different? Or, 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 or. Trust me, you were thinking some shit. What was the shit? Your refund of $220 has been... Oh, wonderful. I just got a refund from Ikea. <laughs> just thinking, what? It looked like it said 2000 I was like, I've got a $2,000 refund. Um, hang on. The squad is amazing. Oh, thank you, Arlene. I really love him. Well, I'm sure you do, Dana, but what the fuck are you thinking that caused him to go away? Watching Law as a coach is always amazing. Squad forever. Oh, thank you, Selma. So, guys, you can actually watch me coaching others. And inside the squad... We've cut down the amount of coaching we're giving out because it just was very time consuming for me. But I think it's once a week now, Jenna, or once every two weeks. Um, you can actually watch me very intensely giving someone coaching over video. And sometimes it's two people. Okay. And you can actually watch this session and watch it back. And you can go in there and watch all the sessions back. And if you don't get some fucking corker self concept advice from watching those videos, well, I can't help you. You're really not listening. Because I psychoanalyze their self concept and unpick it to give them all the solutions to changing their reality. Okay, you can go watch them all. They're all saved in there. They're all replays. You just look up advanced coaching and you'll see it. Or just search the word coaching in the search bar in the squad. So guys, the way to join the squad is not to go to Facebook and join it. You've got to join through my website or through the link tree, but you can join my free Facebook group anytime through Facebook. It's called Subconscious Laws and there's 13,000 people in there. What time is the live on Friday? I have no idea, darling. Depends what I'm doing with my life. What self-concept issues do we have? It's normally about uh, 9 a.m. UK time, around that time, which is like 8 o'clock Australian time. And then the next one is about 9 p.m. US time most of the time. Um, but just depends because Friday night, you know, sometimes I like to go out. <laughs> so I have to kind of jig it around when I've gone out. What sort of kinds of issues do we have? I saw that one. Please don't repeat. Uh, yes, they're all saved. You can go watch them back. How long has the live been on? I don't know. Darling. What story is there if we live in different cities and he's too connected to his family and said he can't leave them? Because you've got a story that you're not prioritised, darling. So when you were a kid, did you have an alcoholic parent or something or you had sisters who were compared to you or something happened where you weren't prioritised and your needs weren't met and so you think he's not going to meet your needs so he won't? What's the difference between daydreaming about SP and visualising? Daydreaming is just letting your mind wander. This isn't mind wandering. This is controlled imagination. Are you controlling your imagination? That's visualising. I love the names of your groups. Oh, good darling. Thank you. I think about scenarios positively but not sure if it's powerful enough. You can think positively all you fucking like, darling, about scenarios, but what are you thinking about you, Michelle? They're reflecting you. You can think about positively about the fucking scenario all you like. That's some bullshit. Who's been teaching you that? I don't teach you that. That isn't all there is. I think positive about the scenario. They love me. We're married. Oh, but he's going to leave you like your dad left you and you're going to get abused by him just like your dad abused you. And blah, 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 blah. I'm called subconscious laws for a reason. I uncover what you're subconsciously thinking when you're trying really hard to change the scenarios in your subconscious mind. But there's a subconscious back there that's got a story about you, your concept of self and your concept of relationships. The fucking with your lovely positive scenario, Michelle, that some other dickhead told you to manifest. If you watch me, you don't sound like you've ever watched me in your whole life. Positive scenarios. Positive, positive, positive. That's not going to do shit. You need to change your concept of yourself, darling. Yes, you can think positive scenarios, but it really won't do much. That's why we get so much success in my group. That's why we had three engagements in a marriage in a month. I'm not telling you to think up positive scenarios. No. Go and watch all my videos on my YouTube. I love you, but you sound like you've never watched me before. Loz, I'm struggling. I'm, I, darling, why are you repeating? Hi, Megan the Great, darling, how are you? Since I started seeing a new guy, it's becoming a little difficult to visualise or think about SP. Well, don't worry about it, Snowhow. Honestly, darling, the new guy might turn out heaps better and you'll forget all about SP. <laughs> that's probably what that's happening. Guys, when you find a new one, a lot of the time they turn up giving you all the things your old SP wasn't giving you and you've changed your self-concept and they're reflecting that and you don't have an old shitty story and sometimes it's better and sometimes that means when you can't think of your specific person it's because you're forgetting all about them because... You actually like this new person and the way they're treating you. Oh, Megan, you're spoiling me, darling. Thank you so much. I've been seeing people saying you'll reach a level of your desiring nothing numb. 
What's this, Mariella? I don't even understand what you said. This is some woo-woo shit. I've been seeing people say, oh, well, a lot of people say a lot of things that are absolute bullshit, darling. You will reach a level of you desiring nothing and numbness and to know your higher self. Oh, have you met that yet, Mariella? How about that? So we're going to be numb, are we, to our desires and a numbness. I don't teach numbness. I teach possibly what you could be referring to as indifference, like you feel it's already here. But if you're numbing out your feelings and you're feeling numb to your desires, uh, that ain't no zen state I aspire to be like. I'm so numb that when my manifestation arrives, I can't even acknowledge it or feel anything about it because I'm fucking numbed out because I watched some dumb bitch with a woo-woo salt lamp and a turban on her head telling me to discover my higher self when I didn't realise that all Loz was teaching me the whole time is my higher self is my consciousness. Maybe if I actually listened to Loz and did what she said, my specific person and my manifestation would be here by now, but I've been watching all these bitches with salt lamps and I don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. What self-concept issues do we have? Okay. Lucy, if you desperately write your question one more time, you know what it's telling me about you right now? <sighs> Why does no one like me? Help! You're in this state of desperation. If you've written it three fucking times and you're repeating it. I did say at the beginning of this and other people were saying, I will get back to you. So your concept of self right now is no one listens to me. So I beat you any money. That's why you have four friends who are never there for you because you're telling me right now what your self-concept is with the way you keep re desperately repeating your question. Work on that. That's why they're turning up that way. That's why I'm yelling at you. Thank you, Megan Dillon. You understand? If I see your re question repeated one more time, I'm going to have a fit. Don't forget the tarot readings too. Guys, you can watch tarot readings all you like so long as you're reading them as, are they reflecting my thinking yet? Not, is this thing going to happen in the future? If you're watching it like, is this thing going to happen in the future? That's not what you should be reading them for. You should be listening to them to see if your self-concept has been reflected yet because those people are just reading your mind. Hi, Lois. So happy to catch you live. A new SP will have a great update soon. Oh, really? Can't wait to hear. How exciting. Thank you, Lois. Bonnie, my 3D messes with my mind and concept, third-party situation, finding hard to reprogram. All right, Bonnie, well, come to the squad and get fucked the 3D because you sound like you need it. If you're thinking the 3D and a third party is the problem, it ain't the problem, darling. Your inability to change the story about yourself not being wanted or not being chosen is the fucking problem here, darling. It's not the 3D messing with you. Stop blaming your 3D guys for your problems. Oh, he said this. She's there. She's ruined everything. She ain't anything but a figment of your own imagination that you're not good enough and he doesn't love you, okay? Guys, if you're still telling me about third parties, you really need to go and get this course because you're not getting that the third party is a direct reflection of your story, that you aren't chosen, that you aren't prioritised, that you never get the love you need, that he doesn't love you, that she doesn't want you. Whatever you think about your specific person yourself will produce boop, a third party. So stop yelling at them and getting annoyed at them and telling me they're there. You put them there. Those of you with third parties, if you haven't got this yet, I, I despair. Please, for the love of God, go to my TikTok, press the third parties playlist and watch every fucking TikTok I did about third parties. Then go to my YouTube and watch the Manifest a Specific Person playlist. Then watch the Ask Loz playlist. Then come and join the squad because you are lost as hell. If you're still telling me about third parties, they're reflecting you. They turned up because of you. They're here because of you. Oh, thank you for the duck dinner. <laughs> Hang on. All right, Bonnie. Don't forget to. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. Hang on. Why is this jumping? Everyone says, since I changed my self concept, I'm a cocky bitch. I think highly of myself. Lol. Oh, fuck those people. <laughs> You probably just picked a whole lot of people you people please for before and put them on a pedestal and now you're on a pedestal. They don't like it. Well, tough titties. I've been watching you forever and things went so well and then I fell off my self-concept. I'm back though. Oh, dear. <laughs> Guys, please don't make the mistake so many of you do by getting cocky as hell because your three days turning up right because you worked on your self-concept and you stop working on yourself and you go back to your old shitty thinking and then you're back here going, help me. <laughs> Happens a lot. People go, where's such and such gone? Oh, they're in a nice relationship. It's all working out next minute. Loz, help me. It's gone back to the way it used to be with the other old specific person. I'm like, oh, Buddha. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Guys, if you don't change you, the same cycle will repeat until you learn the lesson. 
And the lesson is you. You're the fucking lesson. You're your own lesson. Mm -hmm. Um, Any more questions, guys? Otherwise, I'm going to go. Okay, good, darling. You listen to me, Bonnie. Sometimes I wonder why he didn't choose me. He didn't choose you because you felt unchosen. He didn't choose you because you felt like he didn't want you. He didn't choose you because of all the stories you held about him and you. There's the answer. Ta-da. Don't wonder about it. Investigate your thinking, darling. How do you change if it, if after you know how it was created? You created it. It doesn't matter that it's out here shitty. That's what this whole course is about. Once you've seen the shitty 3D reality, then you know you caused it so you can uncause it and it will change. Everyone is reflecting you. So if you change, it changes. They change. The whole thing changes because they're reflecting you. I'm sorry, I learned my lesson. Oh, God, darling, okay. Well, that's why you're back. So just listen more now. Uh, Liza, what do you think of Kim Kardashian's self-concept? I'm of two minds about the self-concept of some of those girls in that family because I think as business people and blah, 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 oh, Jenna's asking me a question. As business people, blah, 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 great. But actually their concept of themselves in love, if you look at Kim Kardashian, her first relationship that was abusive, like physically abusive, the guy she married, that she was married to for however long in Las Vegas, the other one um, was controlling her. Uh, the other one, uh, Kanye, fully controlled her and Chris Humphreys before that put her down all the time. And then... With Pete Davidson, she was kind of babying him. So actually I, I wonder if their self-concept is so great about men. They might attract the men because of their looks and everything, but actually they end up with a lot of narcissistic men and a lot of cheaters. There aren't any women in that family who haven't had men who cheated. They've all cheated on their on them. I think Kendall's the only one who's had men who don't cheat. Is she? Don't know. Okay, so Jenna just said someone asked, what do you get out of the squad? So inside the squad, the subconscious loss squad, there's coaching with me coaching others over video. Then there's live coaching with me like this where I answer your questions on Facebook Friday. So every Friday there's a nighttime US and a morning time UK slot of Q&A. So whichever time zone you're on, you can come and join us. And it's really fun and we sometimes drink wine and we walk around my house and I show you my latest shopping spree and it's fun. It's like very chill in there, okay, because there's less people in the squad. There's almost a 1,000 members. We're almost at a 1,000 members and there's 13,000 in the Facebook group. So when I used to do those lives in the free Facebook group, you hardly got your questions answered where you always get your question answered in the squad. Oh, baby seal. Right? Then there's also the mini courses. Now, the mini courses have ended up being the most valuable thing, I think, in the squad because I am literally giving you a full course, plus you get Make Them Obsessed, the original founding mini course that we dropped. That mini course has got three videos, a whole lot of workbooks, affirmations galore, a whole lot of activities like sexting activities, a whole lot of stuff inside the squad that's so cool. And every now and again, I see people doing the activities on the old mini course, Make Them Obsessed, because they're really, really helpful. And there's so many goddamn success stories with Make Them Obsessed. It's it, it's an 18 plus course, because there's an 18 plus affirmations guide with some saucy ask sexy affirmations for your specific person, okay? You get that for free in the squad. Plus you get this month's mini course, okay? And every month it's a different one. So I don't know what the next one's going to be next month. I was thinking about what it might be, but you guys can give me suggestions of what you want me to make and you get it inside 35 bucks. Then we take those mini courses out and they drop on my website for 95. So it's like a no-brainer to join the squad and it's so lovely and chill in there, guys, honestly, and everyone's so supportive and lovely. And if you put a success story, everyone's so loving and supportive and happy for you. It's a real uplifting place to be. Uh, I get this anxiety feeling in my chest even when I'm thinking, right, my body betrays me. Well, Carrie, you really need to work on that. So go and do some breath work, do some guided meditations, do my sleep tapes, anything that can help you to take down your anxiety levels because your thinking is actually causing your anxiety. It's actually not your body. You're not understanding. Your body is reacting to your thoughts first. You've got to have a thought to have a bodily reaction. Your body doesn't... Um, manifest that reaction all by itself it's actually reacting to a subconscious thought you had so I used to get panic attacks and I never knew what I was thinking when having the panic attack and I didn't even know there were panic attacks until I went to very deep therapy and they told me I was having one and I was like oh is this me having one I have these all the time and what it was was me clamming up and not being able to speak or shaking or crying and it was actually the thought was I don't want to reveal anything of myself if I tell you this you'll judge me and it would be when someone asked me a very personal question or wanted to know too much about me I would have a panic attack 
So it was actually my thinking about wanting to hide myself and not being good enough the way I was and not wanting to reveal too much and be vulnerable that caused the then panic attack right? I've got an anti, anti-anxiety anti meditation on my YouTube. Please go and listen to it every day. And there's a whole lot of affirmations about seven minute mark, um, anti-anxiety meditation in my meditations playlist on YouTube. Go and use it, darling. Or a mini course for the dream relationship. We've got, we don't we have that one? We've got manifest new love. We could have manifest, um, I mean, we've, that's my love course. I'm not going to do ones that are already the love course. There is a whole love course there, guys. Um, and I see what you're saying. It all comes back to thoughts for everything, that damn thinking. Yes, Heather. I'm so happy that I'm starting to see good movement, working on subconscious, insisting really works. Oh, wonderful, darling. Make them obsessed is always there. The new ones come and go for a month. Yeah, so the new ones come for a month, then they go. Hi, Mama Chin. How are you? I'm sitting for ages. Fiance, but it didn't last, broke up with me and don't know what to do. Dana, I fucking asked you before. You've got some real, um, are you English as a second language and not understanding what I just said to you for half an hour? I just said to you, what were you thinking before you broke up? What terrible thoughts were you having about your fiance or about your engagement or about the fact that you weren't married yet or about whatever? And you just fucking just repeated I'm sad because I really work hard on myself and paid lots of money for Kim Belez's courses and I manifested him splitting up with me. That's because you weren't watching me. I just said to you, what subconscious thinking were you having about the relationship before it came out of nowhere? I just fucking asked you. To answer my question and I'll tell you why it happened and what to do about it, but you're not telling me the problem. Oh, I did all these courses and he hasn't changed. Yes, you haven't changed. He's not going to come back until you change, darling. Tell me what you were thinking. I asked you about half an hour ago and you haven't answered me. Don't come in here and complain about your circumstances again. Answer the question I asked you so I can fucking help. Guys, I'm giving you free coaching here and some of you are like, yes, but this has happened. Hello, did you not just hear me 20 minutes ago saying, tell me what you were thinking and I'll tell you what to do about it. It's all about you, not your SP. Guys, that's what I'm trying to say. Some people have got some real comprehension problems. Loz has a new love mini course, which is great. Yes, new love, manifest new love. That's actually going to be dropping on the website soon. And you're going to be able to get it as a bundle. So there'll be manifest new love, whether it's old love or new love, it still applies. And you can get that with unshakable confidence. And we had a lot of success stories with those two courses. This one, unshakable confidence, is really, really get your shit and be confident about manifesting, whatever it is. And this one's about creating the version of the person you want. And you can get them as a bundle. It's called unshakable love. Mm -hmm. Or you can get them separately. It's because I don't fully accept that circumstances don't matter. I know, but I I still compare myself to others, feel not enough, even if I have a lot of men that want me. Well, look at J-Lo and all those fucking idiots who do that, darling. And, the, you know, think of all the beautiful women in the world who get cheated on. Like the J-Lo's and the, what's the name, Halle Berry's. They might have all the men in the world wanting them, but their concept of self means that it doesn't work out. So what's your concept of yourself, darling? Can I manifest these damn allergies away? God, I can't stop sneezing. Oh, stop saying that, darling. You're saying you've got those things. So stop saying you have them. Honestly, when you get coaching from others, sorry, they did not help you. We did not recommend them. Guys, there are only a few people I really recommend who go deep on this, okay? But also maybe you didn't do the course properly or listen or you're still blaming a specific person. You can't blame the coach, guys, when you've done it wrong. Guys, look, we can give you all the coaching in the world. We can give you all the courses in the world, but you actually have to do the work. Kim was probably telling you the exact same thing I'm telling you, but did you listen? Because you're coming back in here and telling me all about him. He did this. He broke up with me. When you did her courses, did you actually listen to what she said about self-concept? I bet you didn't because you were still thinking this is about him. Or did you go deep enough into your subconscious issues from childhood about love and why you're not lovable to uncover why he treated you that way? Probably not. That's what I do. I go a little bit deeper, right? But were you really listening? From the sound of your question, you weren't. Please go and watch my videos. And then you can go back and do Kim's courses and then go, fuck, I wasn't actually listening to what Kim said. I did. That's how I manifested him. But somehow after we got engaged, it all went wrong because your subconscious thinking was still the same, Dana, that was there from childhood. So it went all wrong because you didn't change you. 
You can manifest them in all you like doing someone's course, right? And then your old subconscious thinking from childhood that's still there that runs the show will push them away or make them split up with you regardless of whether you're engaged or not because you haven't changed you, darling. So unfortunately, it sounds like all your focus was on him. You did courses about him. You did courses about manifesting love. And all your focus was on love, on him, on the person, on the engagement, on the marriage. And you didn't fucking spend any time changing your dominant thinking about yourself. And you probably have a story like Dana. You got abandoned by someone in childhood or someone didn't give you the love you needed in childhood. And so your specific person has no choice, even your fiance, to leave you, to block you, to treat you like you've done something wrong because you essentially feel not good enough in yourself. And so they'll treat you like you've done something wrong. There's something going on there. Either you feel not good enough, someone actually abandoned you as a child, or you have a dominant story, your needs won't be met, so he can't meet them until you change. So what happened in your childhood, darling, and what thinking were you having before you broke up subconsciously? And then I can fucking help you. Instead of telling me what happened, tell me what you're fucking thinking. Because I can't help you if you just keep repeating what happened. Circumstances, circumstances, this circumstance happened. I did some courses and he left. Circumstances. My circumstances really matter. I'm going to repeat my circumstances in the hope that when I tell those my circumstance for the tenth fucking time, she'll be able to help me. You really need to do this course, darling, desperately. They're just confirming what is within you. Exactly, Jenna. I love it when you're out. Guys, it's just sometimes I feel like committing hurry curry on myself when people are in the chat and I've said to them, I will give you the answer to all your fucking dreams if you just tell me something and then you continue to tell me all about your fucking circumstances. And then I think, you won't listen to a fucking word I said, were you? Was, what does feeling unsafe mean in self-concept? It could be that when you were a kid you felt unsafe, like someone betrayed you or abused you or you were in an accident of some kind or someone died and then you constantly feel like you're unsafe or someone was very ill. Loss, loss disappearing into the blue abyss was perfect timing. <laughs> so I forget that. Ah, ah. <laughs> I forget that that happens. The way you just bit into the green screen, I'm hollering. <laughs> Guys, I keep forgetting this is here. <laughs> Redid the self-concept course, have a new man that loves and spoils me. He wants to move in. Yes, Jenny, really? Oh, how exciting. Of course he does, die. All right. Loz, I had a normal childhood with both my parents, yet I can't seem to keep the man I love. What the fuck? Guys, we all had fucking normal childhoods, most of us. Doesn't mean we don't have subconscious thinking that's fucking us in the ass. You could have a story that you got compared to other girls because your sister was prettier than you or your cousins were smarter than you and your parents pushed you academically and you just have this niggling story that you're not enough. Ping, you'll ruin your relationship. It could be that fucking small, guys. You don't have to have been beaten by a broomstick and locked in a cupboard to the age of five to have some fucking stuff that's fucking up your relationships. A lot of you think, but my childhood was perfect. The amount of you come on coaching with me and you go, my childhood was great. And then by the end of the hour, you're fucking in hysterical tears because I've uncovered a whole lot of shit that wasn't that fucking perfect. Do you recommend therapy or do you think it just reaffirms what you think is wrong with you? It depends what the therapy is. If you go to schema therapy, yes, so do that. But if you're just going to do cognitive behavioural therapy and all your therapist is doing is looking at the 3D and looking at your behaviour and going, what do you do? Oh, this means this. And they haven't actually uncovered what, why you do what you do. Then no, I wouldn't go to those kind of therapists who just sit there with a notepad. And tell me how you feel about that. You could be sitting there Woody Allen style for 50 years and solve absolutely nothing and living in the old story all day long. No, no. How can I heal my body? Well, darling, I've got to heal your body overnight. Sleep tape on my YouTube. Listen to it every night. What's actually wrong with it? Stop saying there's something wrong with it. Listen to that every night. Use the affirmations in that. It's based on the Joseph Murphy healing prayer. There's also some... Uh, healing affirmations in my affirmations playlist. Go and use those, darling. So, Loz, I just joined the squad. Oh, all right, darling. Hooray. So, guys, when you join the squad, Jenna will let you in. So, allow 24 hours to be let in or 48 hours if it's the weekend. Okay. And when you go in there, you can find the mini courses in the guides section. There's the first guide, which is Make Them Obsessed. There's that mini course. Then the next mini course, Fuck the 3D, will be in the guides section. A lot of you get in there and can't find it. It's guides. But you can also see it on the Newsfeed, but it gets lost with all the success stories, okay? Three past people came back since I started fixing my self-concept. Oh, I don't know, Ingeray. I realised my own commitment issues. Could that be why I'm not receiving commitment from others? 
Well, it can be, darling. If you can't commit to anybody and you feel like everyone else is going to treat you the same, yeah, sure. But why are you feeling that way about you? EMDR worked for me prior to laws, but actually applying her teaching changed my life. Oh, good time for beaching. Yeah, I've never actually done it. I would love to try it. Isn't that the stuff Harry did, the tracking your whatever it is? Changing your self-concept and shifting the focus to you, not them. Yes, please, do that. Any more questions, guys? Otherwise, I'm going to go because I've got shit tons to do and I've got to go to the bank. Damn it, you hit the nail right on the head. How do I flip this shit? I've been working on my self-concept two years. Well, what did I hit, hit the nail on the head about? What did I say? What were you referring to? Go and watch all my videos. Mine come from previous men. No, 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 not parents, and it's equally as bad for future relationships. No, Heather, no, no, it's not. Nothing ever comes from the previous relationships. The previous relationships ended up that way because of your thinking about yourself. Guys, it starts with the egg, not the chicken. I'm really sorry. You can blame the men all you like. The men didn't make you any kind of way. If you've got a dominant story, you won't be loved and your needs won't be met. You'll get in a beautiful marriage and eventually your husband or wife will leave you and not meet your needs and the marriage will fall apart. Then you'll blame your then relationship story about I don't trust people in relationships or I was hurt or I was burned or I have this story about men on that man. But it's not that man. It wasn't that woman. It was your story that your needs wouldn't be met. And then they didn't meet your needs and the marriage fell apart, but that's because when you were a kid, your needs weren't met. So don't blame your fucking fiancé or your husband or your last relationship. Blame your fucking parents. Honestly, Heather. What happened at the egg stage? Honestly. Okay, that makes sense. Well, no shit. That's what I teach. <laughs> Guys, we're not dealing with the chickens here. If you're dealing with the chicken, not the egg, you're blaming your SP. Your SP is the chicken, right? Well, what came first, the egg or the chicken? I'm pretty sure the egg came first. Unless you're really of that thinking that the chicken came first. Thank you for that, Liz. Okay, good. Well, I just reread my comment and I don't like it. My self-concept works instantly and it's so good and natural. Oh, good, Tanya, I won't read it. What affirmations do you think one should work on if feeling like an overgiver, people pleaser? Well, the feeling that you're not good enough as you are and you have to do for others to be good enough or be liked or be loved. Mm -hmm. No, I have no common sense. I'll my eyes off. <laughs> Me after chasing chickens all day. Oh, Jenna's got so many chickens. Yeah. What about accelerated resolution therapy? I've never heard of it. It's tied to things in childhood, tied to the subconscious. Oh, people come up with a whole lot. This is my latest thing. It's the la-la-la equation. It's the accelerated la-la-la-la-la. I don't know. I've never heard anything about it, darling. If it's good, go and do it. Try it. Guys, try anything. I don't care what you do as long as you're changing your thinking. Go to an ashram and sit there for a year and not talk for all I care. Do ayahuasca for all I care. Do whatever you can to change your dominant thinking about yourself. Why do I feel sorry for people that treat me poorly? I don't know, Rebecca, why do you? You've got a dominant story there that you are got to mother them or be there for them or I don't know. I like that mug. I ended up, I ordered one on the internet and then I ended up going ordering four more because I like them. They're nice and big for my coffee in the morning. So instead of having like five coffees, I'm having two. <laughs> I have too much coffee, obviously. I don't have five coffees. So I have four or something. Are things happening in other people's lives a part of our self-concept or theirs? No, guys, you can only see your reality. How many of you are not getting this? You're in your own reality and in quantum physics states that you can only see what is your consciousness. So you can only see what you're conscious of, okay? And trust me, a couple of universities are using my videos apparently in their lectures on physics. <laughs> it's like, what? Some people have told me that. The, the University of Michigan, well, I, don't, I can't remember where it was. Want more help manifesting Loz's resources? Loz let a, let a drop soon, yes. New mini course in squad, yes. Get question answered Friday Q&A, yes. Do the poll. It's your own video game. I love that, Carrie. Yes, it's your own video game. Your own masterclass, period. Oh, Mia, thank you. Did you all hear that? She said, change the dominant thinking you have of yourself. Game changer. Guys, when you get it, it's like, oh, my God, all this time I was fucking with the 3D unnecessarily and I didn't need to. Holy shit. Guys, my tarot on my view page is so hilarious to me that I can literally flick it on the next day after changing my thought about something and every single tarot on my TikTok is my new story. And I just sit there watching it going, you're joking. The tarot readers must think I love tarot or something because I favourite it. As like confirmation, yes, instead of writing claim or something in the comment, because it's telling me I've changed the story. It's so funny. Like word for word, my new story. 
sometimes the affirmations come out in my tarot that I've said for a long time and I'm like, you are shitting me here. This is so quick. Everything reflects you, including the tarot guys. So if you're going and watching tarot, you've got to understand they can only tell you your consciousness or what you were conscious of before. That's all they can do. They can't tell you anything else. Even pre-recorded TikTok videos, honestly. No, they're not fake, darling. They're reflecting you. Everyone's your reflection, including the tarot. You've really got to get this. When I first started TikTok, I thought the tarot was all bullshit until I started watching it and then realising, holy shit, this is my thinking reflected. Word for word in this tarot, I am shook. It's really shocking to me sometimes because the very next day or that week, as I'm changing a story about a person, the story will change in the tarot and I'm like, what? More than a year, I feel so lost now. How do you, uh, Dana, I asked you to tell me what the fuck you were thinking before the whole relationship fell apart. You're really not getting this. No wonder you did poor Kim Belez's courses and you're here bashing Kim Belez and poor Kim Belez was trying her fucking very best in her course to tell you what to do and you weren't fucking listening to her and you're not listening to me. So poor Kim Belez and her wonderful course can't do shit for you because you don't fucking listen. Okay, well, Dana, comment under where you wrote the comment because I can't fucking see it. Let me tell you, where is it? Laws, I've been affirming getting, any, oh, I saw that one. I'm getting Dan, Danny confused with Dana. Hang on, Dana. Tell me what it is that you thought, you, Jenna's just given you an answer and I bet you didn't tell me what I asked you. Loz, I answered your questions. Can you please read my comment and advise me? I just gave you the fucking advice. Where's your comment? Right under your comment again or write it again. So what were you thinking, Dana? Because this is why this, look, guys, you can't come on my live and blame another coach about the fact that I did the courses and nothing worked. It didn't work, Dana, because you weren't fucking listening to a word Kimberly has said, were you? She probably told you the whole way through all the courses you did to change your concept of self and to investigate your thinking. And here you are on my fucking live and I've given you the opportunity to get free fucking coaching with me and instead of telling me what your dominant thinking was before we broke up with you, you choose to keep mentioning your circumstances and begging for advice. If I scroll up and I see that you have not written the question, then don't go bashing Kim Belez on my lives when you didn't listen to a word she fucking said in any of her courses, clearly, because you're not listening to me either. So I can't help you. She can't help you. You could go and do 10,000 courses with 10,000 different coaches and none of them will fucking help you, Dana, because you need a lobotomy of the mind to actually understand that you've got to listen. You've got a fucking huge comprehension problem. No wonder you didn't comprehend her courses. You're not listening. Write it out again so I can see it. So what I'm asking you, Dana, and I'm going to get real fucking shitty if you write me something else like, please answer me. First of all, your fucking desperation and neediness is exactly the reason why he's blocked you. So there's the first fucking answer because you're being desperate and needy and begging to like with me in here. And I bet you any money, you've been begging your fiance to come back. So he's going to do instant block because you're making me want to fucking block you right now. And I'm getting the exact same thinking about you that you're sending to him. I'm desperate, help me, okay? So that's the first reason why he's blocked you. But I want you to write in here, what were your subconscious thoughts? What were you secretly you don't seem to get what subconscious means. Secretly thinking about your relationship before he broke up with you, like why haven't we got married yet? Or this isn't the same as it used to be. Or I want a baby, why doesn't he want one? What were you thinking? Tell me or I'm going to block you from my life because you're not fucking listening. So don't blame Kimberly for you not understanding her courses. You've got a real fucking listening problem. I felt scared and thought it was too good to be true. I was abandoned when I was a child and was never chosen by. So is it Kim Blaise's fault that, that he left or is it you? I didn't feel chosen by any of my ex-boyfriends. So, Dana, now you need to understand that if you were abandoned as a child, your SP has no choice but to abandon you in the worst possible way, like when you've got engaged and hurt you and betray you by leaving after an engagement because you've got a dominant story that this is too good to be true. I can't believe this man loves me this much. I can't believe he's chosen me. Then he's going to eventually not choose you and abandon you because you've got a dominant story that it was all too good to be true and you're waiting for the other shoe to drop and you were fearful that it would, then it did, and then you're surprised 
if you read your answer, you'll realize, darling, you shouldn't have been surprised. You had a dominant story the whole time. This is too good to be true. And I'm so scared this is not going to last. And then it didn't. So don't blame Kim Belez for your fucking relationship falling apart. That's the answer. So the answer, darling, now that you've told me, is to not think anyone's going to abandon you anymore. Step into the state of the girl who feels confident that she is love, who believes that she's loved, who understands that he did love her all along, but all she was doing the entire time throughout the relationship when he deeply loved her, loved her so much that he got engaged to her, was she was pushing out thoughts of, this is too good to be true. When are you going to leave me like my dad did? When are you going to abandon me like all my other boyfriends? I can't believe this is actually happening. I can't believe I got engaged. I can't believe you've chosen me. And then he's like... I don't know if I really want her. There's something ick about her. I'm not quite sure what it is. She's sending me these thoughts that like make me feel like I shouldn't be here or I, I need to leave. And then he leaves and then you're shocked. So the answer to getting him back is reversing every single thing you just wrote there. To not feel scared, to feel confident he did love you. To think, no, it wasn't too good to be true. I deserve this love. I deserve to be engaged. I deserve to be a wife to think no one dares abandon you anymore and it doesn't matter what happened in your previous relationships, this man will stay. Okay, there's your answer. Fuck me, that took an hour to get out of you. That's exactly what he said. He said he also doesn't know why he left. He said he just felt insecure in this relationship. <sighs> Guys, they don't know why. They're just reflecting your thinking. You've got to understand, when I used to do one-to-one -one coaching over the phone, Back in the day when I first started this account and then I stopped, one of the biggest things that people would tell me when their long-term relationship fell apart was this. The guy would say to them or the girl would say, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm leaving. I just feel. They don't know why, guys. They're just reflecting you. Forgive them, Lord. They know not what they do. They don't know why they're reacting to you the way they are. They just are because they have no choice but to reflect what you dominantly think. This is too good to be true. I'm scared it'll all be over. I can't believe he's chosen me. He's going to leave me. There's your answer. Right. So Dana, honestly, darling, for first of all, I would really like you to come and join the free Facebook group. Just come and join the free one if you're not in it. And you'll get on my Loz letter by putting your email and you'll read the latest Loz letter that's about to be dropped called Why You're person is turning up shitty, why they're the shitty version, okay? Then if you really want extra help, I would come and join the squad for 35 bucks and do this mini course because it will really help you. And then I would also do my self-concept course if you can. It's $145 or my love course, $445, and it will really investigate with the assessments, your dominant thinking that was hidden that you didn't realize you were thinking and how to change it and all the affirmations and new stories you need right? So guys, please do join me in the squad for Fuck the 3D. The second part of the course is dropping on Monday. All the parts stay in there for the whole month. Then come and join the Loz letter, letter right now, free at subconsciouslaws.com or by signing up to the free Facebook group, put your email there and you'll get the latest Loz lesson about to drop any moment now after this live called Why Your, what's it called? Why Your Specific Person Is Turning Up Shitty or They Can Only Think Your Shitty Thoughts or something like that. <laughs> Fuck the 3D is the mini course everyone needs. Yes. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Bye, guys.